Okay, what's up, compadres? Last episode, we defeated Cleopatra, or whatever her name was. <clears throat> this episode, we are going through the Twisted Sweets, or I think that's what this is called. I think these guys are my favorite because they're super cute. <laughs> All right. So this whole place is all twisty and turny. Okay. Dude, everyone's playing Pokemon right now. I'm glad Pokemon did really well. Um, I have some criticisms about it because, you know, naturally, we all do. Uh, I think the game... Uh, <laughs> I hate fighting those things. Um, I think the game was too short. Oh wait, let's watch this really quick. Uh oh. Wow, <laughs> wow. For Luigi. <laughs> um Yeah, I think the game was too short. Um I don't really know what post game is all about. I haven't really dived into that too much, but God fucking... <sighs> the legendary surprised me. I'll just say that. Um, I think the post game is going to be mainly about that. Uh, but we'll see. Um, I, Like I said before, I kind of want to complete the Pokedex. No, 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 no. Come on, Luigi. Okay. Jesus. Oh, I hate fighting those things. <laughs> yeah, take a bow. Um, the fact that there's no Elite Four made me kind of mad. I don't- okay, spoilers. I don't want to give anything away, so if you don't want to be spoiled, here's your spoiler warning. Um, there's no Elite Four. It sucks. I wish there was, because one of my favorite parts of Pokemon was to get to the Elite Four. Um, and the fact that it's just the gym leaders again, but stronger, just kind of pissed me off. Um, I think all of the people in the Pokemon game are very cute. All the gym leaders I really liked. Um, uh, I don't know. Uh, the Pokemon I think are were my favorite part in the whole thing. I like I think they did a really good job. I'm losing my voice, so pardon me. I don't know why. <laughs> I think the Pokemon were my favorite part for sure, like without a doubt. Um, because it was just so cute. There was so many cute Pokemons, Pokemans, which is why I'm so excited to like fill up my Pokedex and see, really see all the new ones. Because there were so many that, you know, I didn't experience them all, which is something that I've never had before. Because like the other Pokemon games, I felt like there weren't many, you know. Um, like, I think the Surfetched and the Galarian forms, but, like, new Pokemon, but, like, not new Pokemon was, like, very peculiar to me. Um, 
don't know. I, I think they did a really good job with Alola uh, because I think the different forms and variations of Pokemon really, you know, up to their creativity a lot. Um, yeah, I'm, I just, I really like it. Uh, I like how they brought back the gym leaders. I like how the gym leaders, like when you fight them, you're in a stadium. I think that was really cool. Uh, the Dynamax versus Gigamax was kind of confusing, but I think that's pretty cool too. Um, there was a lot of excitement with this one and I'm, you know, I get where the frustrations come from. Like, ooh, I don't get the full blah blah blah, you know. Uh, the national Pokedex. It's like, nobody can complete the fucking Pokedex without cheating anyways, so, like, just be quiet, you know? Oh. I don't know. I, yeah, the, the only thing about it was, I just wish that it was, uh, longer? I wish the worlds were more expansive. The last world kind of disappointed me because I wanted to like ride the Ferris wheel, you know? There we go. Yeah, like I wanted to ride the Ferris wheel. I wanted to do, I wanted to really explore the towns. I was very excited for really big towns, but I get why, you know, they ran out of space. Because all the Pokemon, there's too many Pokemon, which is why they got rid of some Pokemon from the Pokedex, because it's like, it was too big. <laughs> um, there wasn't enough room. I'm not a developer, though. I don't know the details about it, but yeah. Um, so let's see. I've already spent 50 hours in that Pokemon game, which is actually very short for me. Um, I usually spend, like, when I was playing Pokemon Pearl, uh, I spent 180 hours in it. I'm not joking. <laughs> I wish I was joking. I am not. Uh, so. You know. It's whatever. Um, I still think that my favorite Pokemon game is X and Y. I know that's like not, or like, okay, uh, so ranking all the Pokemon games from my favorite to least favorite, <laughs> which is going to be a huge controversial opinion. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, wait, I think I know. God, fighting these fuckers are so- it's so stressful. Jesus. Okay. Also, the, the heart something sound effect actually gives me, like, a full-blown panic attack. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so favorite Pokemon game to least favorite Pokemon game. Totally not from a critical view. Just putting that out there. This is purely from how much fun I had with each game. Uh, I would say number one is X and Y. Mmm... Uh, X and Y, uh, Alola, Galarian, let me think about this, uh, so, X and Y, um, Moon and Sun, Sh Sword and Shield, wow. aren't, yeah, and then Sapphire and Ruby, Um, black and white. Uh, 
the originals. Um, Diamond and Pearl, and then least favorite is Heart and Gold. Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver. Sorry! Uh, <laughs> really didn't like those ones. Um, <laughs> my first Pokemon game was uh, Sapphire and Ruby, and they have my favorite Pokemon in it. Damn. These crazy bitches. <laughs> okay. Here comes the puzzle. We gotta figure out where to go. God damn, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> he just hit me with a sword. I'm dead. That's what my heartbeat sounds like. Um, yeah, but Ruby and Sapphire was my first Pokemon experience because my brother never let me play the originals because it was his. <clears throat> and he was very overprotective of his games, which I understand. So I went out and I got my own Game Boy Advance and I played Sapphire and Ruby and I literally like love those games with all of my heart they brought me so much joy and then i remember playing x and y and i remember crying when the game was over because i had so much fun with x and y like like just seeing the world be so expansive and not you know not having like a pixel thing to look at anymore was like so awesome to me and I don't know I know people didn't like X and Y the most I don't know everyone doesn't like anything like I'm just gonna sorry someone has to say it <laughs> people don't like shit just to not like shit and, th and then people are like oh boycotting blah blah I'm like, grow up. I'm sorry, but grow the fuck up. There are more important things that you should be fucking worried about, right? Like, just have fun with the game. Oh, did I? Oh. oh. I didn't know you could stop the fan like this. What's that one meme from that, uh, Thousand Year, or no, 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 Super Paper Mario, where it's like, I complain about games I've never played before on online forums. <laughs> That's everyone trying to boycott Sword and Shield and say that it's not fun. I think the game was pretty fucking fun. Okay. Jesus. I don't know why he thinks disappearing is gonna work, because the room is so fucking small. Yeah. 
Like, look how big he is and compared to the room. <laughs> okay. Those guys are my least favorite to fight because they're so big that they, like, take up the whole room. Okay, da 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 da. Oh, there's a crack in that wall. That's my favorite, getting like multiple people. God damn it. Fuck. 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 <laughs> He's back. <laughs> I thought I could get rid of him. fucking circles. I can't fucking react to that. Why do they all hate Luigi? Is it because Luigi's alive? Did you guys ever think about that? On the next episode, fucking we'll figure it the fuck out. Hello. Mm, no, bye.